Uh, what am I grateful for? Oh my goodness, I, I love that question. Uh, so right to the top of my heart, when I think, what am I grateful for? I am grateful for uh, Ella and Luke, my, my eight-year-old and six-year-old six grandchildren, who are absolutely awesome and amazing and wear me out completely. Uh, but I love their energy. I love those little boy and little girl hugs and to be there for all their events. Yeah, I'm just loving family and grandkids is a super season in life. What am I grateful for? I'm grateful for the family of faith I have here at St. Paul. It has been a blessing over the last seven years to serve here as pastor and your encouragement to me and the way that you've told me that uh, I've been a blessing to you has, uh, has greatly impacted my life and my family's life. We're so thankful to be here at St. Paul. Uh, well, and I'd be remiss if I didn't think about one of my favorite passions. I, I, I'm a sports fan. I grew up in Ann Arbor. Uh, I've, I've told the story that whenever Michigan lost when I was a child, I cried in football. Well, I think I cried three times, as I recall. No, no, no. I, I know we lost more games than that. But, but man, I'm grateful for an awesome Michigan football season right now. And that's just so much fun. So much fun. Second thing I could say I'm thankful for, I would say rivalries a little bit. Uh, it's, it's the weekend of the game, as, uh, as Pastor Scott mentioned, and uh, I will support my team, win or lose, and uh, thankful for the last 14 years where Michigan State has won 10 of those last 14 in the football game. So we might not have the same result this weekend, uh, but uh, it's still fun to root for your team nonetheless. On the more serious side, uh, friends, I, I'm not sure I've ever experienced, as I am here with you, the, the quickly developing uh, trust, respect, and friendship. I, I, I move in and out of congregations, it's what I do. And, and St. Paul, thank you for helping me and my wife to, to feel comfortable here. And it is such a pleasure and a joy to be working with an amazing board, fabulous elders, great executive team, a wonderful staff. And I keep getting to know more and more awesome, creative, dynamic, mission-minded folks at St. Paul. Yeah, those are the things I'm grateful for. And finally, it is uh, the weekend leading up to our celebration of the Reformation. And so I am thankful for the gospel that, uh, that was proclaimed by Martin Luther and, and uh, by obviously so many before that, but has been a staple of our church since the beginning. We proclaim that Jesus Christ is the Son of God who came to save the world and that we are saved by grace through faith in him alone. May God go with you as we rejoice and thank him for these great gifts that we have in Jesus.